Hi, I'm Dr. Julia Davids, Director of Choral Activities at North Park University in Chicago and co-author with Stephen Latour of the book Vocal Technique, A Guide to Classical and Contemporary Styles for Conductors, Teachers and Singers. Things are starting to warm up outside, so it's the perfect time to do a little spring cleaning for our voices in our warm up today. Today, I'm gonna to focus on three vocal techniques that will be helpful as we get our voices back in shape to return to singing together, hopefully soon. First, let's get ready to sing with some stretching and body awareness. Make sure to double check your alignment and just pay a little attention to any parts of your body that might need a little extra stretching today. And let's take time for a few mindful breaths, relaxed, low inhalations, and release for our exhalation. Now let's focus on our muscles for inhalation to really fill up our lungs, our diaphragm and our intercostals. Inhale, and as we exhale, let's make sure we're resisting the urge to just release that air, but instead, we're gonna control that steady exhalation with our abdominal muscles and our other set of intercostals. So let's relax and inhale and exhale. And feel free to stop and pause and do as many of these as you need for your body today. So our first technique today is a class of exercises we call semi-occluded vocal tract exercises, or SOVTEs. They're my number one go-to exercises when I wanna get my voice in shape and keep it healthy. An excellent SOVTE is singing through a straw. If you don't have a straw handy, you could use V or Z. So let's just start by vocalizing through our straw. Gentle seal around the straw, no breath escaping through your nose. Or you can use Excellent, let's move to some more exercises with the straw or your S-O-V-T-E. Feel free to do as many of those as you need. I'm gonna to move to a descending fifth, again with my straw. You can choose any S-O-V-T-E. You could do a, a lip trill or a tongue trill. And a reminder that these exercises that semi-occlude our vocal tract are actually feeding energy back to our vocal folds and positioning our vocal folds in an advantageous way so that we can sing more efficiently and more easily. So let's go here on descending fifths on
great. So a reminder, we want to do five to 10 minutes of SOVTEs every day. They're great warm up, great cool down and good for learning repertoire as well. Excellent. Our second technique for today are onset exercises. Onset is how we start our sound and it requires careful coordination that may go awry if we're not practicing it regularly. So we have three main ways to start our sound. A glottal onset, where we start with our folds or our vocal cords together. Ah, you can hear that that has a firm vocal fold closure and it gives a pretty strong sound there. So the second type is an aspirated onset, starts with an H. Ah, that has a much lighter vocal fold closure. You can hear the breath escaping there. And thirdly, we have a coordinated onset or a balanced closure. This sort of onset is excellent for classical and legit styles of singing, and that's what we're gonna focus on today. So we want our breath and our vocal folds ready to come together at the same moment. So I'm gonna do an exercise that gives us three opportunities to start and follows with a simple do mi so mi do. So it goes like this. And you can hear that coordinated onset. If you feel ah, you know you're not quite there yet. Or ha, too much breath escaping. So I'm suggesting three starts. If it's not working for you, you could do five starts or six starts, but work on finding that coordinated onset. Let's do a few more together. Here we are, and is a really important technique for us to be thinking about as we're getting back to singing more regularly. Finally, our third set of exercises are slides. These are excellent stretching exercises that allow for gradual adjustments. They also help with coordinating how much breath energy we need and our vocal fold closure. And of course, we're thinking about our range. As we go lower, slides allow us to contract our vocal folds for that thicker, more firm contact to give us our lower pitches and to stretch and thin for our upper notes as well. So you can do thirds or fifths or even octave slides. At this point, you could pause and do whatever you think your voice needs for today or you can go with me. I'm going to do octave slides today and I've added a slight variation. I'm gonna release after the upper pitch and then take a little breath and come back down again. This allows me to combine onset and release gesture with my slides. So let's try this. that for our slides we want to make sure we're governing our breath pressure with our ab muscles and that we are mixing our sound as we move towards that upper register there. Make sure you've got a little bit of space here too. Let's do a few more together. Octave slides and
Great. To finish off our workout today, I'm going to sing an exercise with some words in it that allows me to combine some of these techniques. It's a variation on the arpeggio I love to sing that my colleague at NPU, Dr. Tom Trump, likes to do. So it goes like this. I love to sing. And if you like, you can add a little lift or gesture to this. I love to sing as we energize our sound for that upper pitch. Join me, here we go. I love to sing. 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 so much for joining me today. A reminder to add in or continue using your SOVTEs, our onset exercises, and slides to our daily singing workouts to keep our voices healthy and prepare us for singing together. Thanks so much. Keep singing.